it's not easy work. We started out just packing up clothes and belongings and stuff like that. Um, then we moved on to ripping off the drywall off of the walls and pulling out nails. But Amy Joffer and Megan Giles volunteered for it. We work with a company or an organization called Helping Hands International. The Medford women are in Houston, Texas, helping victims of Hurricane Harvey. When we were watching everything happening on the news and stuff, um, it was just put on our hearts that we wanted to help somehow and um, just make it work with our own jobs and stuff just to come down and just love on some people that were hurting. When the women arrived in the Lone Star State on Sunday, they didn't know what to expect. They've done a ton of disaster relief already before we came. There's been tons of volunteers um, already here and teams here before us. So from the outside, it doesn't look like there was a big lake in the middle of this street, which there was. They found the work that's needed is behind these walls. Once you step inside the home um, and actually see all the damage and just the smell and there's the mold, still water in the drawers. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it comes before you open up something, it just comes pouring out. But they're not shouldering the burden alone. The homeowners stay here with you. Like George brought us lunch. has brought us lunch every day. I was home that night. It rained for about five days. Uh, Hurricane Harvey. We were kind of set on our hearts to just settle in. The water filled George Dorsey's entire house and forced his family to evacuate. We had to be rescued out of here by the National Guard. Wade out here into one of their trucks, climb and ascend a six-foot ladder, water all around, and we were taken to an area church. Thank God we were taken to a church. That terrifying experience is now a memory, and these women are determined to help Dorsey build a positive future. It's blessing us being here. Um, because we're here to love on people that are hurting, hurting people and to show them hope that they haven't been forgotten. In Medford, Natalie Weber, NBC5 News.